Hollow is making him work quite hard. Hi everyone, hope all of you have been doing well. Your boy Al is here with Spice and Wolf episode 16 and 17 review so let's go. Let's first talk about episode 16 for a bit. The part where Amadi challenged Lawrence for Hollow was kind of funny, but at the same time it made Amadi look pretty dumb. I mean he risked such a huge amount of money for a girl who is basically a stranger to him, and he did that without knowing how Hollow feels, just because he got infatuated, if that's not stupidity then I don't know what is. Also I wouldn't place my partner as a gambling chip even if I'm fully confident about winning. So Lawrence accepting Amadi's challenge left a bad taste in my mouth. Nothing much happened in this episode until the last part, so let's talk about that. Hollow getting all emotional and angry after learning about her hometown is understandable, but she is the wise wolf, so I expected a more calm reaction from her. Also I didn't like Lawrence's indecisiveness here. When Hollow asked him what she is to him, he should have told Hollow his genuine feelings, but Lawrence remained silent instead, and that just made him look like a coward. Well that's pretty much it. So now let's jump into episode 17. I loved how in-depth they went in showing how markets work, how prices of products increase or decrease based on demands, and how merchants do trading based on price fluctuations. I think it's a pretty good way to learn the basics of doing business, but many people might find it boring. However, the thing I didn't like is how Lawrence chose to crash the market rather than trying to convince Hollow. It's as if he doesn't understand his own feelings for Hollow, and doesn't have the slightest guts to convince her. Amadi accepting the deal is another thing I didn't like. I mean I understand that he is very righteous about doing business, but if Lawrence came up with the deal to challenge Amadi then he obviously has the confidence to back it up, so Amadi accepting it was dumb, and it felt as if he let his arrogance get the better of him, which doesn't make sense given the fact that he is a skilled merchant. The Mark and Lawrence part was really nice and interesting. It showed how different types of merchants have different mindsets and are required to do things very differently due to their field of work. Also Mark choosing to help Lawrence in a roundabout way despite all the risks shows that he is a good friend and it was good knowing that not all of Lawrence's friends are backstabbers. That's pretty much all I wanted to cover and yeah, I really enjoyed both the episodes. Also episode 18 is already out, but as some of you might know my country is going through some major issues, so I'm gonna cover episode 18 in another video, and I hope you guys will overlook the delay. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel or leave a comment if you wanna say something. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description, until then see ya.